Okay. All right, so come all the way down. I'm gonna take that band across my shins. I'm holding my band shoulder width apart. And by pressing into my shins, I'm zipping up my spine nice and long. Keep the band where it is, but just sink your back. So I'm tucking my tail, rounding my spine, and then I come back up into a nice tall spine. I see curve, I exhale, round the spine, inhale, zip up, exhale, round, inhale, lift, exhale, stay right here and give me a little bit of pull down. My palms are gonna turn in, I'm squeezing those armpit muscles, I'm rounded, so don't be hinged, round that spine for four, squeeze those armpits, three, and two, and one, and stack your spine. Inhale, nothing. Exhale, round, eyes to belly, and press down. So feel like your inside attract your tire. And three, and four, four more. Here's four, and three, and two, and one, and zip it up. This time, take the band parallel to the floor. Inhale, prepare, exhale, C curve. I want you to melt down until that lower back will almost touch, but it's not going to touch. Arms longer. I feel like that band's almost holding you up. I'm going to rotate towards my screen, and I'm going to take my arms and pull them apart and come back to center. Do that again. Knees are bent, belly's pulling in, and back to center. I'm going to inhale, two, exhale, one more. Good. Bring it back to center and stack your spine. Back up. Does that go okay with our backs? Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Get the holy out of center. Tuck and round. Now go away from the screen. Anchor down those sit bones and I pull it apart for four. Good. And three. Arms like beams of steel. Two. And one. Back to center and bring it all the way up. This time we're going to lay all the way down. Inhale. Prepare. Exhale, tuck, take your time, lower back, rib cage. Good, lengthen your legs and reach those arms in long. I'm gonna wrap my legs in the Pilates stance. I'm gonna bring my arms straight up first. Scoop your belly, squeeze your seat, bring those legs straight up. Hold right here, inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the chin to your chest and reach that hand up higher. Head comes back down, inhale. Exhale, draw that chin to your chest, reach higher. Inhale, back down. If this is straining to your back, feel free to put your feet down and your knees bent. And we inhale, come down. We exhale, lift up. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. One more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, hold this one up. Take the arms behind you, ditch the band. Bring those arms back to parallel, and we're going to start to pump the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. Watch your back. Inhale. Yep. If you need to, you can go to tabletop. If it feels better, put your feet down. If your neck feels straight, put your head down and keep moving. You're picking where you want to be. If this is too easy for you, lower your legs until you feel like, okay, my belly's working, my back is safe, I'm firing those armpit muscles, I'm wrapping my thighs. Inhale into the nose, exhale into the lips. Loose feet, tight seat, breathe. It's quiet, but they're really breathing. Okay, there we go. Inhale, exhale. One more into the nose, out the lips, and hug everything in. Now, if you feel strange in your neck, I turn my head to one direction, and I turn the other direction. I'm going to reach back behind me and grab back onto my band. Take your legs to a tabletop. I'm going to hold that band shoulder width apart and bring it straight up over my chest. If you don't want the ends hanging down, just bunch up the ends. And again, the hands are shoulder width apart. Band is nice and tight. Shoulders down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the chin to your chest. Reach your band for your shins. Stay here. Press down. Return, release the head, and arms go straight back up. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Hold here and press down and return. Exhale, press right away. 
Inhale, return. Exhale and press. Can you feel your belly going deeper towards the floor as you press those arms down? Fight those shins going down with you. Nod that chin to your chest, eyes to belly. And we're gonna do one more. Draw that chin to your chest. Press down and let the feet come down and the arms go straight up. Melt those shoulders down. We're gonna do little marches, keeping our head down and the arms still. I'll tabletop my right leg from my core. I lift it, put it back out. And left, lift and lower. We exhale to inhale. Slower is better. You got it. Lift up and return. Lift up. Now I'm going to hold this right leg up. I'm going to reach my arms away from me. My leg is going to press out. My ribcage stays heavy and bring it back to a tabletop. I inhale, lengthen everything away from my center, exhale back to start. Make sure that back is staying heavy. Back of the head is jelly pressing into the floor. I use my breath. Inhale, to exhale, two more. Inhale, to exhale, and one more. Then I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna do a single leg bridge. So I've got one foot to the floor, one leg to a tabletop. Make sure we're prepared for this on that one side of the body. Lift everything up for one count and lower back down. Don't let the hamstring get cramped. How do you avoid that? Fire those glutes. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The shoulder should be pushing down as you lift up. And three. Give me two more. Keep that foot still. Two. And one, and release, arms are staying still. Other leg comes up, I put that bowling ball right here in the center of my rib cage, my back is heavy. As I lengthen my arms and leg out, I fire the glutes and I come back in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, center. Out, and in. Make sure that the arms are staying connected to the ribs, Feel like you're trying to hold that lemon under that armpit. And three, good. And two. One more. I hold this one here. I bridge up one count. Exhale. Inhale. Seven more. If that's not cool, do less. And you can end with hugging those knees into your chest. We've got four more to go. Shoulders back of the head down, belly in. Three, good. This should be getting easier each week. Two, and one. Take two legs to that tabletop. We're going to tap the right toes. As I come up, switch, tap left and right. So the belly's not giving a break here. If you want to make this harder, draw the chin to your chest and reach the band diagonal over those shins. You don't have to ever lift your head and Pilates, but you do need to keep your back safe. So make sure you're not arching at all. If you need to go slower, you go slower. Now I'm gonna take side to side so my arms straddle that leg and my band is staying tight. I exhale, exhale. Make sure your back is not shifting around on the floor. Four, you got it. And three, two more, two, last one, and one, and hug those knees in. Relax those shoulders if you need to, look side to side to release the neck. I'm going to take my band now in the front of my quads. My knees are pressing in towards my chest. I'm going to press through my quads and lock my arms off the mat. Please make sure your wrists don't curl back. You want the knuckles pointing forward. Keep the head down, or you can prepare with an inhale and the exhale, I draw my chest to my chest. My right knee is gonna come through the band. My left leg goes away from it. I come in, I drive that knee towards me as I press the other leg out. Watch your wrist. You can see them if your head is lifted. Make sure those knuckles are straight ahead. I'm pausing as I come in. 
I'm not going to pause anymore. I'm going to go out, switch, but my arms are longer, even longer. That's it. Watch your neck. If your head is lifted, it's going up and over that top rib cage. Shoulders are connected to your back, remember. I'm inhaling for two, and I'm going to exhale for two. Put that head down when you need to. I breathe in, I breathe out, and I put my feet down. I let my back arch, and I reach my arms behind me. Hopefully that went okay. It was challenging, but doable. Draw the knees back in, and take the band towards the ankles. Feel free to keep your head down. If you're lifting it, inhale, prepare. Exhale, now the chin your chest, and bring it up. I want you to take those arms back to a diagonal where they're gonna stay. Plug the shoulders into your back. You can do one leg again. I'm going to do two. I'm going to push out to a Pilates stance. Hold for three counts. Let those knees come right back under that band. Inhale, hold. Two, three, exhale. I'm also going to add next time my arms reaching back. This is harder. Don't go there. It's not for you tonight. Exhale. Notice when my arms go back, my rib cage doesn't change. I don't drop my head down. I hold everything very still. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, squeeze your booty as those legs go further from your center. Inhale, two exhale, just two more. Inhale, two exhale, one more. And then the head comes down. I'm gonna take my feet to the floor. I'm gonna slide my hands an inch further in each direction and bring those arms straight up. Keep the legs still, back is still heavy, palms facing forward, pull that band apart and bring it right towards the chest and then bring it back up. Here's your breath. Inhale, belly still pulling in. Exhale, it presses deeper toward the floor. So my inhale doesn't mean I lift up. I'm keeping my belly in deep. I inhale, push it down. Exhale. Now this time I straighten my arms. Take your knees towards the center of the room. Keep gazing up straight ahead. And then bring it back to center. Other side. I pull the band apart. And I come back up. Anybody's back get a crack? No? Nope. Okay. Mine did. Ha ha. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. One more side. You felt good. Inhale, two exhale, last one. Inhale, two exhale, draw your knees in and zip those legs straight up, either in parallel or Pilates stance. I'm gonna draw my chin to my chest on an exhale. My band is staying right over my chest. I'm gonna take my right leg towards the band and then my left leg towards the band. Right leg, left leg. Now, don't cheat and take your band way down here. If it can't touch the band, that's okay. We're trying to reach equally both legs from our center. Now, as I move my legs, my arms will go out and then up, and then out and then up. You don't have to do these additional things with the arms. Four, three, Two, last one, and pull it in. Woo! Okay, rock yourself up. It's about time to put the band back behind our feet. So try to shake it flat, best you can. And try to have the toes inside the band, not going over it. You'll prevent it from bunching up. So if you want to have more press into your band, a stronger band, a heavier band, the hands will be closer towards your feet. If not, you walk them further down. We're going to lie down. Our elbows will go to the floor. We're going to zip our legs straight up. Now, I'm in a Pilates V. If you prefer parallel for any reason, feel free to go to parallel, but the legs should be together. You can keep your head down. That's fine. Or inhale, prepare. Exhale, now the chin to your chest, and I peeled my shoulders up off my mat. The legs are going to go down. Two, three. Use your belly. Zip up. Now remember, the worst thing you can do for your body is to hover your head like this. Because all I do is feel strain in the front of my neck. So 
So I want you to either, if your head is up, be able to see your belly button, or put your head all the way down. In time, if need be, and if you want to, you'll be able to hold that head up. But it takes a lot of ab strength, because it's the abdominals holding that head up. Lift up, we're gonna go down, two, three, lift up. I'm gonna lessen my band a little bit so it's not as hard, and here's why. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna try and lift up a little bit. So if I have too much resistance, I'm never be able to lift up. You don't have to lift up, you can have your head down, right? You don't have to lift at all, remember. I lower, two, three, up, lift. Come down gently, not like a ton of bricks. One more. I bring it up, and I draw my knees back in. You want to take those hands further down again? Feel free to reposition those hands. Okay, so I'm going to be doing obliques. One leg is going to push the band out. The other one is going to pull in towards you. So before I start adding the twist, let's practice this center. So you can keep your head down. You can nod the chin to your chest. My right foot is going to push out. <clears throat> I'm going to keep my left leg in. Bring it back in. Catch the band with two feet. Now my left leg is going to press out. And I'm going to come back in. So I'm going to rotate towards the bent leg. <clears throat> center. I'm going to rotate towards that bent leg. So it's a very small rotation. Squeeze that booty. Feel the side oblique muscles. Bring it in. Take your time. Press out. Come in. Press out. <clears throat> Come in. Out. And in. Out. Now hold it in. Put the band down. Take your hands behind your head. Feel that same length pushing the leg out. A bigger rotation. Hold. Switch. Hold. Try to have the elbows nice and wide. Come through the middle. <clears throat> Switch. That bowling ball is still in your torso. Shoulders are off the mat. Exhale. Shoulder towards thigh. Shoulder towards thigh. Shoulder towards thigh. One more each side, woohoo, and release. How'd that go? Well, okay, go on to your band and lock yourself up. Okay, so now I'm going to take this band, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to pull my shins in towards my feet. i got a close grip on my band, so I only have my hands a couple inches apart, so I can have this tight grip with my arms around my outer thighs. But it's holding it here like a strap. Pull the feet closer in towards your seat, shin to chest, push your belly button in. Now I'm not gonna slouch into my lower back. I can still be rounded and lifted. Balance on your sit bones. Now back issues, tailbone issues, do not rock. You hold this. Make sure the shoulders are down, scoop that belly button in and up. If you want to rock, you keep your feet glued to your seat and your chin glued to your chest. You gently rock back on an inhale, booty up, and then balance and hold. Think slower is better. Rock back, gently come up. If you thud on your tailbone, it's not for you tonight. Inhale, exhale. And you've got to scoop that belly in deep to come up. Inhale, think of butt up, butt down. Two more, that one was way too fast for me. Better. And last one. Inhale and exhale. Toes on. Slide the feet long. Hook the band behind your feet. I see how my spine is rounded. Okay. Press the back of those legs into your mat if you can. Now I want you to pull in that band and just lengthen your spine. So I didn't really move my lower back. So I didn't pull back like this. And I want you to round forward and let the band get a little bit more loose. So it's not going to be extremely loose. So come way forward. So let the band relax. Let it relax. Now keep the arms straight and just think of the crown of the head starting up, 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 and this beautiful diagonal. Press the back of the legs further into the mat and then round. 
So the only thing I'm moving is from my mid-back up. So my lower back is staying. I pull that belly in. I'm in a nice diagonal. Bring it back down. Now on this diagonal, I'm going to stay. So show me your diagonal. I'm not leaning back. When I'm leaning back, I'm going to straighten my lower back. Taller, taller, taller. Now take the band off your feet. Stay in your diagonal. But now add the arms up. Now relax the neck. Make sure the arms, if possible, are right next to your ears. Grow an inch taller and take the left hand towards the left corner of your mat. Come back to center. I'm still my diagonal. And the right hand, look how small that is. Come back up. Inhale to exhale. Inhale to exhale. Make it smaller. I need to grow tall first, then a little side bend and center. One more. Inhale to exhale. Now I'm going to try to twist, so keep the band tight. Rotate towards me. Keep your neck with the arms. Exhale. Don't lean back. Don't lean back. And inhale. So if you have the luxury of working out with a mirror next to you, you want to make sure you're in this diagonal and not back here. Okay? One more. Don't move the hips. Don't move the feet. And lower it down. Put the band behind your right foot. Think me like the ball of your foot. Keep the other leg straight. Pull this knee in. I'm going to try and bring myself forward and not automatically come like this. Chin to chest, eyes to belly. I'm going to hold my arm still. Press this leg straight. Bend it back in. Squeeze your seat. Press the leg straight. As my leg straightens, pull your belly in deeper. Hold this here. Now I'm going to pull it a little bit closer. Try to keep the back of that knee nice and straight. And I'm going to start to tip. And as soon as I feel like, whoo, I'm going to lose it, I'm going to lengthen my arms and bring it all the way back. And here I am moving a lovely hamstring stretch. Good. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Pull a little closer. Inhale. Relax those shoulders a little closer. One more. Now I'm going to bring it back up. Chin to chest, eyes to belly. Inhale. Shoulders are peeling. My leg is going to start to tilt forward. Push into your band. Now, if you want to try another one, try it to the other leg. This is harder if you want the variation. Take the other leg off the floor. And I'm going to roll it back. Mm -hmm. And roll it up. I'm going to push into your band. Keep the legs where they were. How'd that go? Try it again. Arms are straight. Plug your shoulders into your back. Tuck that tail. Eyes to belly. Legs are staying equal distance apart like they were before. Press into your band. Let the band almost pull you up. Put that leg down and put the other foot behind the band. So remember, I give you different variations. Pick which one works for you. So my right leg is straight. I'm going to pull this knee in. And I'm just going to bring my chest towards that leg. Chin to chest, eyes to belly, melt the shoulders. I'm going to kick this leg. My belly goes in. I bend it. I want you to squeeze your booty at that same leg there. Hold this one up. I'm going to pull it a little closer towards me. Keep the shoulders plugged in. Keep the other leg pressing down and tilt. Tuck your tail. Tuck your tail. And then let it come down. Straighten the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Pull that leg a little closer. Inhale. Exhale a little closer. Only if you need that leg straight and back strain free. One more inhale. Exhale. Straight arms, eyes to belly. Now as I start to peel back up, my leg is going to start to go forward. I'm going to drive my foot through that band. Now we're going to go down again if you want. Take the other leg. I'm in a little V here with my legs. They're going to stay together. I'm going to bring it back down. Press into your band. Keep that other leg reaching out. Reaching out. Scoop deeper. Good. Bring it back. Inhale, to exhale, and we'll bring it up, press through your band, inhale, scoop, and lower both feet. Good. All right, take the legs as wide as your mat. You okay so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm watching back there. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> take those arms parallel to the floor. Now again, I wish we had mirrors in here, but we don't. So I need you to feel what I want you to feel. 
I want you to feel like you're light on your sit bones. This is going to make me tall. Now watch, if I sink into my sit bones, look where I am. My pelvis kind of went with me. I want that pelvis to push down and zip up. Feel like the ceiling is starting to come down. You're going to hold it up with the crown of your head. You've got to crease these hip flexors. So if you've got tight hip flexors, tight hamstrings, it's going to help you to bend those knees, right? Sit bones are lighter now. All right, so this is all about stretching your spine. So I'm going to inhale up, decompress the spine. On the exhale, take your chin towards your chest. And now I'm going to take my fingertips forward, and I'm going to peel my shoulder blades off this wall. And I'm going to stop at the mid-back. Inhale, suck everything in, bring it back up from the center, not your back. Too far back, too far back, too far back. <laughs> Exhale. Good. So pretend like I'm standing behind you with my leg straight up your back. You got to come straight up my leg. Don't press back into my leg. That's better. Oh, don't lean back at all. Exhale. Belly button moves in, arms are reaching long. Inhale, zip it up. Exhale, we should be getting warmer. The slower and more form we work on, the more the belly is working. Inhale, up, you've got one more to go. Exhale, chin, shoulder blades. I stop at the mid back and I zip it up. I inhale and I let my arms come down. Take the band behind you. You were cold when we started. Hopefully, you're not still cold. Now, there's a couple different positions you can do for your legs. I'm going to be doing some rotation, some shoulder and chest. If sitting like this is like, oh, my hips, you can go to a diamond. You can go cross-legged. You can sit with your knees bent. You can roll up your mat and sit on top of it to elevate your hips. So pick it. I want you as tall as you can get. So I'm pinching my band with my thumb and second finger. Make sure your hair is not underneath that band. My palms are up. I want you to press just the left arm out. And then when you pull the elbow back, follow it. The band got loose. Legs together. And press out. Exhale. Rotate. Press out. Palm is up. Palm goes up, but the elbow pulls back. My band gets loose as I come through. One more. Sit tall, sit tall, sit tall. Bring that water out, then just come back to center. The other arm, I press it out. My elbow drives back. I sit taller, I follow my band got loose, and here I am. Press it back out again. Rotate back. Inhale. I'm going to try to grow taller as I twist. Press the back of those legs. If your legs are straight, press the back of those legs down to the floor. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Back to center. Take both arms out. Pull them out. Now keep the right arm straight. And as I bend this arm, the other arm presses even more out. Press it back out. Rotate. Press it back out. Keep that one arm straight and lengthening. Come back out. And just one more. We've done enough twisting. Good. And then release. All right. So release that band for a second. Once you take your legs back as wide as your mat, you can be bent again. Whatever's going to help you sit tall. And if your lower back is getting cranky, you especially want to bend these knees. Reach those arms long. Feel like I'm playing tug of war at those sides. Rotate towards me. Face me. Nice and long. Now keep your spine long. I'm going to hinge forward. Soft my baby toe. Look at my back hand. Inhale up. Rotate, 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 rotate. Exhale. Put your back home. Inhale up. So my spine is getting a more of a twist, rotation. So if you are a golfer, this is something you definitely want to pay attention to. How much rotation do you have in that thoracic spine? Inhale up. 
Exhale down. We'll finish the center on the inhale. And on the exhale, sweep your arms forward, palms turned in, and C curve back and point those toes. Good. Hold it right here. Now I want you to diamond these legs. So I just swept my heels together, my knees went out. If you have a ball or a cushion at home, you want to put that right here. Mount the shoulders, scoop the bellies. I'm pulling it in and zipping it up. My back leg, my leg furthest in the center in front of the room. I'm gonna lift it. One, four times that same leg. I'm lifting from my belly first, then the thigh, inner thigh, and hip. Last one, other leg. Now whatever's not lifting, but it's pushing down. And three, good. And two, I'm gonna take this a step further. I want you to come back onto your forearms. Bring these legs up. I'm still in my diamond, so my knees are turned out. Good. Now I'm going down on forearms. Yep, there we go. Now lower that leg. One. Zip it up. Again. Two. So I'm doing four. I lower. Three. Feel your belly. Four. Other leg. Keep the chest open. Two. Good. Three. And four, keep the legs here, lay all the way down. Head is down, are you off your mat? Nope, just me, okay. Arms are straight up into a prey position. I'm gonna curl my chin to my chest, I'm gonna take my hands through that diamond and come back home. If you want to just do the arms and engage the core without lifting the head, that's fine. Okay, exhale, inhale down. Exhale, I'm gonna add on to this. I'm going to press center. As I lower, take the legs together. Reach the hands for the outside of one thigh. Come back. Reach it for the other outside that thigh. Take the legs back to your diamond. Come through the center. Legs together. Go to one side. Keep the ribcage heavy. Go to the other side. Make sure you're not dragging your head. Go out to your diamond. And one side, bam. Other side. Now I'm going to hold my head up. You don't have to. Legs together. And reach outside. And the other outside. Legs apart. Together. Take the hands to one side. To the other side. Give me a diamond. Head down and hug those knees in. Put your feet down. If you need to, let your knees drop to one side and then the other. We're going to do a corkscrew while we're down here. So my hands, we're going to make a little diamond, football tee, and put it underneath your seat. And I want you to zip these legs straight up. Now this is just going to protect your lower back. But I'm going to keep my hands apart for right now. You guys keep your hands underneath your seat, okay? All right, so my legs are glued together, whether they're parallel or whether they're turned out into a V. You put that bowling ball on your torso, your neck is nice and long, the back of your head is firmly pressing into the mat. And I take my legs towards the center of the room, draw them down a little bit, circle away from the center, come back up. Reverse that circle, away from the center, towards the center, and up. And again, inhale, to exhale. You keep that rib cage heavy. Maybe make your circle smaller. So don't go real big like this unless you know you can fire the glutes and the core and keep your back from moving around. One more each direction. Inhale. To exhale and finish other way. Inhale. To exhale and hug it in. Woo! Drop yourself up. Then we're going to go back onto our band. All right. We're going to come onto our side. The top leg is going to have the band behind its toes. Try to have it as best you can in the center. And I'm going to come onto my side. So I'm going to line myself up with the back of my mat. I can prop my head up or lay all the way down on my arm. My band shouldn't be too tight. It should be like a guitar string. I'm going to shift my legs to the front edge of my mat. Good. I want you to lift this leg, hip height, and then down. I want you to think of lengthening. 
So I'm pushing into that band. Yeah. Remember, if this bothers your neck or your arm or your shoulder, you can lay all the way down. You can bend the arm, make it like a pillow. Just make sure your head is resting on something. I go for three. And two. Hold this one up. Flex that foot. Reach it forward. The band's gonna be a little loose. Give it a push. Sweep it behind and give a little push. I'm gonna anchor that bottom leg into the floor so I'm grounded so I don't move anything else. The torso has to stay still. Now you can see that leg coming in front of you, right? Is it here, pause, or is it dropping down? You want it parallel to the floor. Press into that band and now stack your legs. Your top kneecap is gonna to turn to the ceiling. Keep your hips stacked, please. Now I'm gonna push my bottom leg down, gently lift this leg up, and now here is where I work. Lift up, push that bottom leg down, reach it long. Keep that bottom rib cage nice and light. Two more. Reach it longer. And one more. Good. Now turn your top toes just like your bottom toes. And once again, lift your hip height. Now we're gonna stay over top of that bottom foot and we're gonna circle one. Two, relax the shoulder, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide the legs back to parallel. So they were at the top of the mat. Then once you lift both legs up, hold it here. Now just your bottom leg is gonna go down, zip it up. Now I'm squeezing my inner thighs, my glutes, and my belly. And I'm pushing long in that band. I'm not letting that band collapse that leg. I'm pushing long, make sense? I'm zipping up my inner thigh to lift up to that top leg. I go for four, three, two, and one. Okay, keep the band tight. Come into a quadruped position. Can we make that? <laughs> I threw that one in there on you. Okay, so separate the band and put one end in each hand. Now, I prefer to slide my band up to my heel because I'm going to drive with my heel. You don't have to use the band at all. If I have it just tight enough that I can lengthen my legs straight out. Okay? So I'm going to lift my knee and bring it just towards the center. And I'm going to reach long. I come in and I press. Parallel the thighs, press out. Squeeze those armpits, keep the spine long. What are you squeezing on the way out? Your butt. Mm -hmm. And press. And press. I inhale, my belly is going to control it coming in. Keep those hips in a straight line. Squeeze the bum, draw the belly in. Squeeze the bum, draw the belly in. How's that feel? Can you feel your glute? Yeah, okay. Okay, so you're doing a hand curl. I want you to bend your knee and draw it in. There you go. Now press out. That's it. And in. And out. And in. For four. And three. These are lovely. And two. Hold this one out. Now come half an inch in and press. And press. And Woo! Can you feel that burn? <laughs> Four, three, two, one, and release. Come back onto your seat. Release the band. Other side. We start with our side kicks. Just want to throw a little bit of that booty work in there tonight. Okay. Have as much of your foot as you can inside that band, the toes. Center best you can. Remember, we're gonna lie all the way back against the edge of that mat, including your elbows in line as well. Hips are stacked, bottom rib cage is pulling in. All right, so don't have this so tight that your shoulders all jacked up, right? Choose wisely. 
I like to take my knuckle to the floor. You can also have the hand against your belly button. Slide the leg to the front edge of your mat. Pushing the bottom leg down, I'm gonna lift my top leg just hip height and back down. Opposition, push the bottom leg down as you lift the top leg up. Neck is supported by the hand, so don't begin cranking your neck or your shoulder. Try to push out against the band. So we're always lengthening. Now I go for three, take your time, and two. Now hold this one up, your foot is flexed. Now slide it across the shelf, give a push, and come back, give a push. We try to stay hip height, even as we come back. So don't sweep up, go back. Flex the hip, extend the hip. And you can only go as far as those hips stay stacked and the rib cage stays still. I exhale forward, inhale from the back of the leg and the booty. One more. Now I'm going to stack my legs. My top kneecap rotates the ceiling. Push the bottom leg down, lies a feather. Whee! Now lengthen, lengthen all the way heel to heel. Inhale up, push up bottom leg down. Exhale. This should feel good. I like to feel the opposition. I like to feel the strength of my bottom leg stabilizing me, holding me there. Don't lean back at all. Inhale. I exhale. One more. Now I lift my top leg, hip height. Feet are flexed, one over the other. And I stay over that foot. I don't go any higher than my hip. And I'm using my belly to stir that wet cement, stir that leg. Four, three, two, reverse. Can you feel your stomach pulling in and up? Bam, three, two. Now here's where I bent my knees. I kept my grip. I came up into this quadruped position. Once I was there, I put an end in each hand and I slid my band up to my heel. So we're going to drive through that heel. All right, so I make room for that band. My hands are kind of wide. Okay, back is level. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. I hover my knee in. I'm going to drive that heel straight out. Exhale. Squeeze your booty. Come back in. Woo! Feel the length of that leg out of that hip. Every once in a while, not the whole time, but glance at that standing leg and make sure the hip and the knee are still in a straight line. Squeeze the bum, pull the belly in. And guess what? To stabilize my shoulders, I'm squeezing my armpits. Inhale, exhale. And you can do this without your band. So if you're like, I just don't like the band, I think I'm tangled up into it, get rid of it. You got three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Now hold this one out there. Come in an inch, press out. And seven. Woohoo! Six. Five. Bam. Four. Three. Two. One. Whose idea were those? <laughs> okay. Release the man. I'm going to sit back. Give me a little bit of a Wrist circle here to release my wrist. Good job. Okay, sit on your booty and let's put that band behind our feet. We're ready for teaser. So teaser, teaser is, is hard, but it's more doable with this band. Let the band assist you, but pick the right level. Some days you can do a full teaser and then some days you can barely come up in a teaser prep. It's the ideal for the day. So if you want more help coming back up, walk your hands further down, and that will tighten up that band more. If you want less help, don't have it as tight. My legs are one fist width apart, my feet are flexed, my arms are long. I'm going to see curve, I'm going to round my spine, tuck my tail, my knees are bent. Now if I want to stop here, that's fine. If I want to stop here, that's fine. Or you can come all the way down. Now we don't drive that head, nod the chin to your chest, curl the eyes to the belly, find that lower back, 
and bring those arms up. So I'm not gonna bend them, I'm gonna keep them nice and strong. <laughs> Exhale, tuck your tail. Good. Eyes to belly, find that lower back. Inhale, good. And again. Now, if you want it harder, I'm gonna push my legs out and hover my head and my feet. I'm gonna pull myself up with little puppet strings. So this would not be for a beginner or anyone with a back issue or a tailbone issue. I inhale up. Try to use your belly more than the legs. And then hover, exhale. And we're gonna lift up, 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 up. See my arms are little puppet strings? So they never bend, they never bend. And inhale up, eyes and toes in the same plane. Exhale, hover, last one. Inhale up, hold it right here. I'm gonna slide my hands further down. I'm gonna go of my band. Hold, hold, hold. I'm gonna do a little scissors. See how I'm all the way down into the base of my shoulder blade. Eight. Seven, six, good, five, four, booty's engaged, right? Three, two, hug it in. Woo, and gently rock it side to side. That was amazing. Nicely done. And we're gonna rock ourselves back up. Woo, okay. We're gonna go back into a quadruped position. Hands and knees. How are we doing on time? Okay, you're gonna take the band behind you. You have like 10 minutes, that's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take it to the base of my armpit, or I think mid-back. You choose how much resistance is on your band. I don't like to have too much because that bothers my hands and wrists. So I'm in my quadruped, hips and knees in a straight line, shoulders and wrists. I'm going to stick out my butt and arch with an inhale. On the exhale, press into your band and round. Good. Inhale, let everything go. Exhale, drive those hands through the mat, eyes to belly, chin to chest. Inhale, back out. Exhale. Now we're gonna do one more. We're gonna arch one more time. And then on this one here, can you just come to neutral where your back feels like it's straight? Can you take one leg back? Now I'm squeezing into my armpits. I'm going to take my other leg back. If this is not for you, keep that one leg down. Hold right here. I'm pushing up into that band. I'm squeezing my armpits. My heels are together. My belly's pulling in. And I hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just take your knees down. Bend your elbows. My bend is loose. Hold. Press those heels back, go back into your plank. Hold. You don't have to come off your knees, remember that. I'm gonna lower to my knees, try to keep everything else where it was. Bend your elbows to the rib cage. Press back up, tension on the band. Press those heels out, or you stay on your knees. Lower those knees. Inhale, bend elbow to your rib cage. Exhale, lengthen. Drive those heels back. Last one. Lower those knees, try to get everything else still. Inhale. Exhale and take the knees forward. Let go of the band. My arms go behind me. I'm gonna make cups with my wrist. Nicely done. Hopefully that felt good. All right, no swimming. Uh, we're gonna come to a high knee with our bands. We're gonna face the front of the room. Flatten out your band. We're gonna take this leg, so you're gonna mirror me out to the side. So right now, my hips are pressing forward. My leg is in line with my hip. My heel back here is in line with the back of my knee, and my foot's flat. I'm gonna take this band wider than my shoulders up to the ceiling. Everyone's wrist feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna need a modification. All right, so I'm going to Diagonally, tip, and I'm gonna keep coming down until this hand, I'm gonna launch my band up, until my hand is to the floor. 
and this here is right over the crown of my head. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna lift my leg up. I'm gonna pull my arm to go right in the front of me, and I come back down. Whoop! Ha ha! My heel is not behind my knee. And straight. Inhale. Exhale. You can also look down at that hand if that fan's a little too close to your face. And one more. And from here, I want you to just let that band pull that arm over. Feel that stretch. Now take that hand to the floor. Take the hands wide and come back into your plank. Good. I want you to pull yourself up. Then leaning with your upper back, start to come back into the plank and the head just kind of comes out with this. And I take my chin to my chest. Pull yourself up, leading with your upper back, and the head just comes through last. And one more. Squeeze in those armpits. Pull yourself up. Yep. Bring it back down and lower to your knees and stretch back. I'm going to just flip my palms up. I'm still holding my band. Come back up to that high knee up and do the other side. You can also do this without your band. So the other leg is going to come out. Hips are pressing forward, neck and shoulders relaxed. Bring those arms up into that wide V. I'm gonna side stretch. I'm gonna reach to the floor. Here's my arm. Shoulders connected to your back. I hold, I lift. So this is too close to your face. You can look down at that bottom hand. Good. Make sure those hips are still open, facing forward. Mine keep wanting to go with me. It takes my heel with me. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time. Now hold this arm still, and now let that band sort of start to close as it takes my arm and stretches my side. Yes. Rotate to the floor. Hands are wide. Legs together, bring it back, squeeze into those armpits. I'm gonna lift my seat up. And this time, if you want, when you come back into your plank, draw your right knee into your chest. And then two feet back, hike up, inhale. On the exhale, take your left knee, squeeze those armpits, please. Hike up, the weight should be off your wrist. Exhale, one more. Inhale, and then let this leg drop down, and my knee's gonna face 10 o'clock on my mat. I'm gonna slide this leg back. So look, my knee is going towards the left side of my mat. My heel is in my right pocket, and my hips are square. If you have a knee issue and it's like, I don't like this, you lie on your back and you pull your left knee in your chest. I'm going to come onto my forearms. I'm going to keep my hips level, shoulders relaxed, long leg. This is like a cluster stretch. Hopefully your knees are okay. I'm going to come back up onto my hands. I'm going to flex my back foot and drive that knee off the mat. Pull the belly in. Lift this leg back. Give me that down dog. My opposite leg is going to come in. I'm going to plop my knee down facing two o'clock. And the other leg is going to come back. You can keep the arm straight or you can come all the way down. Keep your hips in a straight line. Breathe. And again, if this hurts your knee, you lie on your back. This leg is straight right now. Be straight. And the knee is bent. Just pull in. Make sense? So don't be like, that's held my knee, but I don't know what else to do. Hello. Don't forget to breathe. Relax the neck and shoulders. Back onto your hands. Flex your back foot. Get that knee off the mat. Be strong. Take your heels together. Now this time I'm gonna pipe up and I'm gonna walk my hands to my feet. Three, two, one. Hold this, hold this, hold this. Soften your knees if you need to. When you've had a nice little break with your knees soft, if you have softened them, 
drive through your heels and try to straighten those legs. And as I did that, my belly pulled in. I want more weight on your toes than your heels. Soften your knees if you want that little hamstring release. Press the heels down as you zip those legs up. Walk your hands back out for three, two, one, and lower to your knees and stretch back. I'm gonna release my wrists. Take the arms behind you, curl the fingertips to your wrist. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs for our final exercise. Not go to our stomachs, flip over to your butt, not your stomach. Okay, so this is a hip release. So my heels, no, my toes are together, not my heels. So my toes are here and my heels are apart. Hands are together. Take your fingers and aim them to your heels. Once you get to your heels, separate the hands and go around the outsides of your feet. Okay? Now I'll pull your feet a little closer. And if you want, you can balance. Now, you don't have to rock on this one. All you need to do is take the feet apart and back in together. This is opening the hips and giving a nice little stretch. Make sense? You should feel that little release. Now, if you want to rock, this is called seal. We tap our toes three times. One, two, three. You're gonna rock back, never onto your neck. You'll tap, one, two, three. You rock up, tap, one, two, three. Butt up, just like a normal in the ball. Tap, tap, tap. Lift up, tap, tap, tap. Eyes to belly, inhale. Eyes to belly, exhale. Just give me one more. Gentle, relax those shoulders and let your feet come down. I'm gonna slide my feet a little closer towards me. My feet are bottom to bottom. Grab onto your ankles, take your elbows against your knees, and we'll push our knees down. I'm gonna to turn your face so you can stay exactly how you are. Relax. Ah. Now, if you can, sit cross-legged. If not, take your legs straight out in front of you. We're going to take our arms out like a T. You're going to mirror me. Take one arm down. Soften that elbow. Give me a nice little mermaid. Now this hip is pushing down. You're going to come up like a T. Soften the arm so you can stretch over. Inhale. Exhale. Tall. Hand down. As I come over, soften that elbow so I can get further to the side. But anchor that hip down. Nice and tall. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Take the hands in front of you and just walk them forward. Head can go heavy. Belly still pulling in. But neck is relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. You worked really hard tonight. I hope you feel better than when you started class. Walk those hands back in. And we'll finish with a nice big inhale up. And on the exhale, grow taller, all the air out of your center, and you have made it. Yay! All right. Nicely done.